Right now, the search is on for the gunman who's responsible for a deadly shooting on the northeast side of Indianapolis. Tonight, Metro Police are confirming a second person was injured. Our Logan Gay talked with neighbors who say the gunshots took them by surprise. Logan? Scott, I talked to one woman whose family has lived in the area for years, and she tells me it's usually pretty peaceful on this stretch of Station Street near 25th and Sherman. But she says she's noticed a change, seeing more flashing lights and crime scene tape. Andrea Sims says she saw this situation coming during visits to her mother-in-law's house. She says she noticed a lot of people tend to hang out around this house. So anytime when you see a gathering like that every day, that something's going to happen. IMPD officers say they found the two victims outside this red brick house. The man died on the scene and the woman was taken to the hospital in good condition. It's, it's, it's very shocking. You really don't expect for it to happen, things to happen like that. You really want, you know, like I said, the young people to be uh, vis visual, you know, like with their lives and things, do, do, doing good things. Police taped off the street while they combed through the area looking for evidence. More than 40 evidence markers littered the street. It just happened the way it happened. It was sad. Now IMPD is asking the community for help finding the suspect. Now we want for folks to come forth. Our agency has made a significant number of arrests, uh, whether that be aggravated assault or homicide arrests. We've done that based off community tips, and so we hope that the community will continue to keep coming forth with any information that you may have. Sims worries if younger people don't help take care of the community, they could see more of those flashing lights. They need, it's need to be something that the young people can get into to get that gathering off the streets and everything, you know, because there's a lot of older people say around here now. Again, police are asking anyone with information or security video that could help them to come forward. You can reach out to IMPD or Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS.